Hi guys! If you've made it this far um, in my little unboxing series, um, this is the boy uh, who started it all. Um, shortly after uh, I was able to get my first Oscar P um, from one of my very, very best Dolly friends at K Pixie Wings. Um, I decided to reach out to Marina um, and just, you know, kind of get to know her, feel her out as an artist. Um, I wasn't sure how things were working as far as her releasing new dolls. Um, I was kind of afraid of uh, not being able to get any more um, Oscars or baddies or any other kind of doll. I wasn't sure, you know, how things worked for her because, um, her husband and herself, they, they do all the work. They cast all the dolls themselves in their home and they have a daughter, a young daughter. So I, you know, I wasn't sure like how many dolls she was working on at any given time. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get another one. Um, and so uh, she reached out to me after I said that I wanted to get put on the waiting list for another Oscar. And um, she reached out to me and said, I have one um, that's available, but he's got imperfections. Um, you know, she had cut too deep with some um, when she was uh, cutting off the extra parts from after you cast a doll, they have all these like little stubs and um, that's the part that you cut off and you sand and she had like sanded him too thin in some spots and um, and so she said if that's an option for me, you know, if, if it's okay that he's got flaws, you know, then she had one available and then that's when she offered um, a free face up um, in exchange for for that for the fact that he was flawed and so I was like yes please you know give him to me <laughs> um, and so uh, that's kind of what what started it all um, as far as me being able to bring home another Oscar um, so quickly after my first boy um, she has beautiful merchandise as well that she includes with her dolls I have been wanting um, one of her notebooks for a very long time and this is her latest one um, I believe all the other covers that she has designed they might be like sold out or discontinued I believe she sends these um, if you order any of her dolls um, even this little guy if you order a micro Oscar um, I believe she sends a notebook with him as well so um, any kind of you know support for her means a lot uh, so I was really excited about getting um, this Oscar she gave me two options um, face three or face four face four has the pointed ears and the um, the Oni horns I don't know if I'm saying that right I don't know if it's Ani or Oni but um, I chose the the, the face four because um, I already have two face threes and um, and I wanted to be able to collect all five of the Oscar faces and thankfully I also have uh, face one which is the sleeping Oscar face so technically I, I only need faces two and five uh, from the original five Oscar faces but anyway this is also an extra um, that I tacked on um, after I realized uh, that these were still available she made a paper doll of Oscar and um, I wanted him <laughs> I watched a, a, one of her videos on her YouTube channel um, where she cut you know she cut out the Oscar pack um, paper doll and um, and the she drew you know everything the clothing all the different clothing options on him and everything and uh, I fell in love with how beautiful he was and um, a paper doll is still a doll so I decided to tack on the paper doll the paper boy and so he's got all these outfits which is amazing um, 
So I will be cutting him out and I will be uh, probably doing a separate video um, on my paper doll collection because I actually have quite a few and they were from, you know, my childhood. Um, I've got some old school Barbies in there, um, some random paper dolls that I found, I don't even know where, um, some that I've drawn myself. So here is the most incredible paper doll in my collection. <laughs> I cannot wait to cut him out. Oh my goodness, I'm going to take my dear sweet time too because I don't want to mess up anything or accidentally cut off one of the little tabs, but... Um, but I'm so excited for the, for this, uh, paper doll. Um, and I believe she might still have some available. Um, if you guys, um, you know, wanted to check that out. So, uh, on to the boy. Um, she was waiting for these boxes, I believe, um, in order to ship him in which is why I kind of had to wait um, a little while after I paid him off. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, let me see. Can I get him out? Oh, okay. Whew. So, um, this boy, uh, I, I'm sure you guys were expecting him to be um, another K-pop star. Um, but uh, after she finished painting him, you know, she showed me pictures and um, I was blown away with the fact that he didn't look like a K-pop boy at all. And I didn't want to make him into that. Um, he has the Oni horns um, peeking out of his forehead and he's got pointed ears. So I was like, well... I don't know what kind of character he's going to be. Um, she said when she was done painting him, she was so surprised at how fantasy uh, he looked. And I too was also surprised. And she said that he looked like a fawn. And that's when the, the clock, ear the clock, that's when the, the wheels in my head started turning. Dear Shira, thank you. For your support and I hope these babies will bring you a lot of joy. XOXO Mimo. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love that. She had so much fun with her little photo shoot. Um, oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be beautiful inside of a doll room. Oh, I love, 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 love doll pictures. Thank you, Marina. This is amazing. Uh, sorry this is taking so long, but like um, like our dear friend Allison says, you know, she wants to savor the opening. Um, I, I too want to savor this. Um, and so, whoa, <laughs> I guess I was giving you an up close look at what else is included in the box. Um, so these... <laughs> were also an extra that I added onto my order. <laughs> she had posted these in her stories. Um, well, she had posted this shirt, okay? Now, her mother is a professional seamstress, um, and so she had made two of these shirts that were available for sale, and she had sold one, and she had this one left over, and I wasn't sure if she was offering them for sale or not, so I of course, I messaged her about it because I said I, I wanted something like this for my first Oscar boy. Uh, it's very K-pop. And so uh, she said she also had um, some other shirts that she had handmade herself uh, from like the very, very, very first um, Oscar pack pre-order that she had done like way back in, I want to say 2018. Um and so she said, you know, that if I wanted these, that they were available. And of course, I had to have them because um, I'll have two K-pop boys and they can have like a little twinsy photo shoot with these on. That'll be so cute. Um, right now, he's with um, Sheena uh, in Hawaii getting face upped and tattooed and all that good stuff. But I love this shirt. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. So I am so happy to have it um, in my little wardrobe for him 
Um, oh, that's right. I asked her for extra eyes um, for the Oscar that's in Hawaii because the eyes that he came with, I wasn't sure if they were made by Marina or not. Um, I never really got like a clear answer on, um, you know, what eyes those were and if, you know, and I wasn't sure if they were going to be his permanent eyes and of course I wanted him to be a full-on marina doll so I asked her for some extra eyes and I told her whatever color she wanted to send me um, so I think these are green and they're beautiful so that's exciting because he will have new eyes when he gets back okay so this is Oscar P head number four color cream um, December 2020, he's 32 centimeters. So there's his COA. That's so exciting. And then here are some more stickers that she did. Um, she actually did like um, watercolors. Um, she actually, I'm, I don't know if she did videos. She's got some videos where she, excuse me, where she paints um, on her channel on her YouTube channel. She's got pic uh, videos where you can watch her do some watercolor painting. She's incredible. She's incredibly talented, this lady. Um, so anyway, uh, my boy with the horns and the, and the pointed ears was not going to be a K-pop boy. I kind of got distracted on my story. Um, and she said that he looked very fantasy like a fawn. And so I was like, oh, that's that's good. I'm, I'm going to roll with that. Oh yeah, <laughs> she threw in an extra bucket hat. Oh, that's fun. That's gonna be fun. I can't wait to put that on Oscar, see what he says. Um, so, uh, I started, my husband and I were watching uh, a new series on Netflix called Cursed, um, where it kind of goes back and uh, talks about Nimue. Um, you know, she's like a sorceress. Um, and she, it, it goes back to how she became kind of like the queen of the fae. Um, you know, she was like protecting them from being killed off basically by, by humans. And so um, in that series, there is uh, one of the fae clan are called the, the fawn archers or an archer fawn. I think it's fawn archer. And, um... <laughs> So I, I went on to Google and I started searching fey names um, and I actually found one that I liked called uh, Palantis or no Pantalus Pantalus that's it and I thought well he's an Oscar P right so the P can stand for Pantalus and then um, I started watching a uh, sighthound ladies videos from the beginning when she started talking about all of her characters um being part of the fey world called eden sphere and i was like oh my gosh i think my oscar p is a fawn archer fey from that world but anyway these bags oh, i have been dying for one of these bags so she has these made um these are all five of the oscar pack faces um Where's mine? Well, yep, I've got the sleeping face with the bunny ears. Okay, here's the Oni boy. This is the one I, this is the one in here. Um, here's, I want to say this one's mine with um, the kitty ears. So I need these two. Um, but I, this is my new doll bag. I'm going to take this thing everywhere with me. Um, she also got some new canvas bags with a new artwork on there which I'm hoping with my next purchase I'll get that that bag too um, this bag is so beautiful Let's leave it there for you guys to see look at that isn't that gorgeous the artwork is my favorite I want like a t-shirt with this on it <laughs> I would wear it all the time um, so this is my fawn archer prince because he has the magnetic crown accessory, which is really exciting for me. Um, so he's the prince of the Fawn Archer clan. Um, I ordered him a bow and arrow. 
because you can't be an archer without a bow and a net and some arrows and a quiver. Um, I plan on painting these and distressing them to give him, you know, to give it more like an, of an aged look. Like he's had these for a long time, you know, like he was practicing since he was a little boy. Um, I brought some shorts, um, to put on him cause he's snaky and, um, I have been waiting forever for his, for his arrival because I made him this amazing wig. It's long. Um, it's got braids in it. It's got a feather in there. Um, and so I'm going to add some beading to it too. So it looks like, you know, kind of like, like those just fantasy creatures that have all the stuff in their hair. Um, I really hope that this suits him, uh, because, uh, I'm, I really want it to. <laughs> so, um, so let's get him out of this. Um, she also sent me an extra magnetic piece, which is not pictured on here. Uh, this magnetic piece is kind of like a rare one. Cause like, I don't really see very many of them. Um, and so I'm excited to have it too. The only magnetic piece that I'm missing is, uh, the puppy ears, um, which, you know, hopefully one day I will have that. So here is a tree sprout, a plant sprout, and it's like, um, it's like a translucent minty green color. Uh, maybe more like a blue color, but you can see the sparkles in there. Let's see if you'll focus. There we go. So that's going to be really exciting to have. Um, and then there's the translucent crown with all the little flecks in there too. Oh my goodness, I can't even wait. I am so excited for this. So... There's that. Um, he has the same hands that my Oscar has, which uh, are the K-pop Korean kiss hand, um, which he probably won't use all that often because, you know, he's not a K-pop boy. <laughs> um, so there's that. There's that hand, which, um, they're not blushed or anything. So I will be doing that here. I'm comfortable enough, uh, with painting that, that I can do his hands. Um, and I will be giving him some gold accents, like gold rings, um, maybe some like gold tattoos. I'm not sure. I haven't really decided, um, what all I'm going to do on him because I want him to look princely. Um, so he's on the new, the newest version of this body, which has magnetic feet, which is very cool. Um, because she actually has magnetic shoes. Um, mine doesn't have any of the magnetic shoes. Um, but I'm hoping that in the future I will be able to to get some of those, um, you know, with like a future doll, uh, that, that way I can have that option, uh, for him, but because he's a fawn, he might not even, he might not even need to wear shoes because, you know, they're very nature based and, um, just, you know, kind of free and not, not, uh, tied down by things like shoes and, <laughs> and underwear. <laughs> Um, I want to make him not like a loincloth, but like, a, you know, just like some like raggedy looking natural, naturally made looking clothes. Um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't really done a whole lot of, um, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, he's got a new, the new peanut joint in the hip. Both my other Oscars don't have that. I will be doing an in-depth um, body review when I have all three boys back. That way you can see her first version, her second version, and her third version. Um, but yeah, he's he's beautiful. Um, she changed a lot on this body. Um, look at, 
Oh, I love him already, guys. Um, I'm so excited to see him all. Ooh, this one's got new knees and everything. And of course, this is new because my other boys do not have magnetic feet. They are both strung. Can make him like a sandal type of of shoe. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to like rub on him, but oh. here is beautiful Oscar P. Face sculpt four with his little sprouting antlers. Let's put his pants on so I don't have to worry about um, his nakiness. Um, these might actually be his permanent pants for a little while until I get him or make him something else. I really want to make him something. Um, so... So yes, look at my beautiful boy. He's got a neck joint too, that's new. So there he is. And she also made the eyes. I had originally told her I wanted green eyes because I had sent her a picture that I wanted his face up based on. Um, and then she had said that nobody likes the brown eyes. Everybody always asks for blue or green and I said, you're right. Um, so I told her that if she wanted to use brown eyes that she could and these are actually a lot different than my other Oscars brown eyes and I feel like this iris is really big compared to the other one so he definitely has a doe look. He is definitely my prince. My little fawn archer prince. Let's get his wig on. I hope this fits. It should fit. If it doesn't fit, I'm gonna cry. Oh no, I don't think it will fit. Oh, yes it does. Okay, good. Oh good. Oh good. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix the hair a little bit. Wow, guys. What do you think? I mean, I really don't want him looking feminine at all, so... I don't know if I'll have to cut the hair. Uh, but you know how like, you know, fey boys, they they can they can get away with the, the long hair. Um, oh wow. Oh, he's so beautiful. Like, he's really beautiful. So yeah, I definitely plan on doing some gold accents on him. Um, some gold rings on his hands for sure. Um, I kind of wanted to do like a, some sort of like a golden tattoo, like a, but not really a tattoo, more like a, like a marking that he was born with to show that he's royalty. Um, I'll have to do some digging, like do some, you know, picture finding of some different looks, um. For that. Oh wow. Oh, he's just too beautiful. I am so excited to have him in my collection, guys. Look at him. He's just amazing and he's so different from my other Oscar, which is Oscars, which is great. Um, because I don't want them to all look like the same doll, you know what I mean? Um, I really hope that the one that Sheena has will come back, uh, but he'll give me a different vibe than the Oscar that I have already. So. Oh, man. Look 
Look at him. Look at him. He's too perfect. He's just too perfect. And of course, we have um, a lot of wooded area in our backyard. Um, and so I will be taking a lot of outside pictures with him because he, you know, he would be the archer fawn prince out in in nature. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so perfect. You probably like, I don't want to wear this crown because it gets in the way. <laughs> the tree sprout is for another Oscar. Um... Since my Oscar has the kitty ears, then the sleeping face has the bunny ears, and then the old Oscar that I never that I got uh, doesn't have any magnetic ear parts, um, head parts. So this tree sprout will hopefully go onto him. Um, and and if I don't use it all the time, it's fine. Um, but I love having it because, like I said, she has. Um, I have all the magnetic accessories except for the puppy ears, so that's what I'm waiting on for, you know, eventually one day. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this long series of uh, unboxings. <laughs> um, I I just, I can't even wait um, to show you guys more um, of this beautiful Oscar, uh, what's his name? Pantalus, Oscar Pantalus, the Fawn Archer Prince. Um, if you guys um, like my content, please subscribe, um, leave me comments. I love hearing from you guys. Um, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I will be showing a lot of pictures. Um, so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.